Harsha today is an MP, but to most of us, he is a very good friend who has been there with us in any event. I was asking Chantan a little while ago, is he coming? Yes, I sent him an SMS also. So, you, you really, he is just a call away, if I would say so, Harsha. You, uh, thank you so much for being here this, this evening. I mean, know how busy you are. I mean, those of us who follow him on Facebook know how many activities he is at on a given day. So thank you so much for taking your time to be here and I very warmly welcome you once again back to CSA. Dr. Navaratna, I don't think he even requires an invitation to be with us because he is part and parcel of this program and of the department, but very especially of this program as well. One of the blessings I had as head of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering was not only interacting with very intelligent students, but working with the faculty, the visiting faculty, who were always willing to not only come and teach the students, but even help us improve a lot. As for master's programs, the first thing that came to our mind was to try and see how we can help the IT industry flourish. Looking at the Looking at what was there in the market and what was missing, MBA program, the need of MBA program was there. But it was not just a just another MBA. We wanted to do something different. We wanted to be the trendsetter that University of Manitou wanted to be. And then we looked at what our strengths are. We looked at the needs of the market and came MBA IT far back in 2003. This is a very special program. And you see, those of you who have gone through the program and have successfully completed, those of you who are going through it, and those of you who are about to start, I think you all know ours perhaps is the toughest MBA in town. Other countries and their responsibility. New generations are entering the job market. Societal trends such as globalization, more women, more freelancers in the job market are visible. With global warming, disasters and poverty, there is an increased trend for CSR. Not only local, but also the international competition is making the business margins thinner. With these environmental influences, the change in the organization has become rapid and constant today than in any other era. Organizations are compelled to be lean, flexible and competitive. They need to be productive. They should be building their capabilities to outsmart the competition. The managers need to change the way they manage from managing different generations of employees to managing other stakeholders. Flexible work is no longer confined to a specific time and place. And Dr. Chandra Nagamudu, Usha Karanaka, my always fighting and cheering friend, <laughs> always we are going together. Not physical fight, but uh, arguments. Chandra uh, Kumar Sunil, uh, MBA, Cambridge, and academic students. So, I'm very happy today. Our uh, honorable MP, Dr. Harsha Silva, is here with us. Today's presentation. And uh, he's an economist. And also, I respect him, uh, especially. He was the uh, managing director of Nielsen. So when I was the PhD student in Tokyo, my professor Soji Muraka was talking about Nielsen, research, world, world market research. So when I came to Sri Lanka, I found Nielsen is there, but I didn't know who initiated it. I found when I was the uh, director of Argus, I met one of the Initial directors, that is Janaki Group, and I found uh, Janaki Group and Sanatana Kumar are the people who started the company and surveyed it. So he's a good businessman. So today he's a uh, member of Parliament. So I, I'm sure he will come to the other side soon. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to continue with his capabilities to the national level. Anyway, so I'm very happy today to be with you because I 
I think uh, I'm a, I think I'm president also, yeah. Um, 